believers to watch this. This only, he's talking to the church at Galatia. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Look at how he described faith. Hearing. Hearing of faith, not works of faith. Hearing. Faith is a hearing. Faith is a hearing. By the hearing of faith. What you hear is faith. When the message of Christ is preached, what you hear is faith. The message of Christ does not demand. The message of Christ supplies. The message of Christ does not demand something from you. Rather, the message of Christ supplies because the message of Christ is a byproduct of what he has done. So it does not demand you doing. It only supplies you supplies. When it supplies you faith and you hear, then faith comes. What faith? Faith in the gospel. What is that? Salvation. Faith in the gospel is salvation. The gospel does not demand. Rather, the gospel supplies. Teaching good? Faith commit. Faith commit. God does not ask you to have faith. He asks you to receive faith. Because you can't have it. You don't have the wherewithal to have faith. The only way you can have faith is when the message that is called faith is preached. And when you hear it, the hearing of the message of Christ is called faith. The hearing of the message of Christ is called faith. That's why a born again believer, you don't ask him to have faith. You will never find anybody, any apostle in the epistle, asking believers to have faith. Not Paul, not Peter, none of them. Not even James. No apostle asks believers to have faith. The only place you will see have faith is in the gospels. And remember the gospels were before he died. After he died and rose, he never asked people to have faith. Rather, he asks us to give you faith. How? By preaching the message of Christ. And when you hear that message, what comes to you? Faith. So that means the gospel supplies what? Faith. Am I teaching? Yeah. The gospel supplies faith. The gospel does not demand. Rather, the gospel supplies. Because if the gospel should demand, nobody has the word without to supply what the gospel would demand. In the first place, that's why Christ came. In the first place, that's why God became a man. Because man does not have the wherewithal to supply what God will, will demand. So God came down as a man and made the supplies on behalf of man. And all man is required to do is to hear the message. And by hearing the message, all that he has done is released into the man. So we are products of his finished work. We are products of his finished work. Thank you, Jesus. We are products of what Christ has done. So this only will I learn of you, receiving the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish? Now he qualifies their foolishness. First of all, he calls them foolish. Then the thing entered him more. He now qualifies their folly. Are you so foolish? You are not just foolish. Now it has graduated from foolish to so foolish. That sounds like a pastor. Brother Paul was the pastor of the church in Galatia. So he's a pastor who after teaching them the message, just because he traveled on a missionary journey, by the time he came back, they had brought him 15 steps, 25 steps. How to make it? Who stole my wedding gown? Where is my wedding shoe? Who stole my goat? Huh? I am designed for the city, but tied in the village. I saw that somewhere and said, oh my goodness. Designed for the city, tied in the village. Who tied you? Who tied you? That means you're not born again. Because the day you got born again, it was a movement from one kingdom to another. Those are not messages for believers. Those are messages for, 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 for non-believers. And they're not even messages. Designed for the city, tied in the village. <laughs> Another gospel. Another gospel. Praise the Lord. Another gospel.